but the fact that we can't afford health care is wrong. We know the fact that we don't have enough resources in our schools is wrong. And that kind of clarity somehow gets lost, you know, when you move into the state house and you really start to delve into politics. And, and I think that's a shame because we need that moral clarity. And it's young people who are always that beacon, who are always saying, this is the way that we need to go. a perspective that has to be integrated into politics, especially in the day and age when so much is at stake. I feel really grateful that in my life I've been able to work with so many groups of young people from when I started doing this stuff um, when I was little, working with uh, my friends in high school to put solar panels on our school or get people to stop using reusable bags or doing a lot of work at college as well. Um, when, when I went to Harvard, people did not talk about climate change. They really did not want to talk about it. They did not want to talk about Harvard's wealth and the power that we had. But, you know, it, it's something that we have to talk about. And we ended up building this massive movement that really changed how Harvard thinks and acts and talks about climate change. So all this is to say that in my life, it's always been young people who have sparked these movements. And, um, you know, now, I go to the legislature every day. And one of the reasons why I ran for office and wanted to do this experience is because all of the work that I've done, you know, whether we're putting solar panels, doing energy audits, trying to get Harvard to divest, organizing a rally, everything has one common purpose, one common goal, and that is to influence politics. We don't always talk about it, and we don't always name it. But that's really what we're heading for and what we're talking about. The problem is that our political system has failed us and keeps failing us over and over and over again, especially young folks. There are people making decisions right now. We're voting today right now in Augusta. We're making decisions that will impact your lives. But y'all can't vote. And how do you have a say in that process? So um, I wanted to run for office to try and bring in a different perspective to try and make sure that rural communities like mine had a voice, that younger folks had a voice, that we can stand up and fight for everybody, just like um, you know, I supported Bernie Sanders. And I knew in 2016 that Bernie Sanders would fight for me, even though he's a lot older than I am. So all of this is to say it's about young folks and it's about politics. I also just wanted to add that the work that we're all doing together, the things that we're thinking about, can often be so hard and just really, truly depressing and discouraging. Whenever I've heard the word politics, I feel like, ew, you know, it just seems so gross and awful and angry. Um, but we need it. We need it with love. And that's why we can't stop fighting for what we care about. So um, when I put this microphone down, I'm going to leave because I have to go back to Augusta. But Rob